Hey, I'm Cisco here at uh, Beer Brand Headquarters, and I got Gabriel here. We're gonna do a haircut today. Alrighty, Gabe, so I'm gonna drape you up real quick and then spin you around and talk about your cut, man. Sounds good to me. Always gotta have one of these handy in case like the, the closures here don't, don't fit. So it'll be nice and snug. Awesome, so let's do a skin fade. Let's go high and tight with it. Cool. And then we want to clean up this beard, kind of round it out a little bit. Since I'm a little patchy down here, I want to make sure that it's all evened out. Cool. And then I want to probably take some off of the off of the bun as well. Cool. See how short we can get. Yeah. Uh, how high do you want to do the fade? Yeah, let's go, I mean, right up to the line here. So if we're at the line, right below it, about cool. an inch right below the line, I think it'll be great. So, so you want to see, you want to have like that piece of graduation there? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, let's do it, man. When you say rounding off the beard, what's, uh, I guess what point uh, are you looking at? It's probably down here, like by the- Oh, like, like the, the, the yeah. line, round yeah. off the line. Gotcha. Do you want to take anything from the beard? Uh, probably a little trim, only because it grows out a lot more on the cheeks here than it does on the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah, just yeah. so it all kind of looks a little more even. Cool. Uh, anything with the stash? Yeah, let's just get it out of the lip. <laughs> Sweet, brother. I'm going to start with my TL liner. Just bald everything out. Start here in the, the middle of his, his head. You normally wear uh, your your fades this high? Not usually. Uh, usually they're a little lower, but I feel like I want to do something a little different now that the top of the hair is going to be much shorter. Right on. I never usually wear my hair down, but I'm trying to see if it's short enough to wear it down, only because it's really curly, so I usually just kind of stick straight up. Mm -hmm. And try something a little different now. I'm just making sure all the uh, the hair is nice and even or evenly cut. So when I use my shaver, there's uh, it's easier for the shaver to get down to skin. Some powder here. Usually do this just to reduce any type of irritation or any any of that with, when it comes down with the shaver. Using my my thumb to kind of go against the grain to see if, if I feel any any kind of stubble, making sure the area is nice and clean. When I get when it, when I get started uh, when I get to the kind of the the trimmer line, I start flicking down with the. Uh, the shaver just to eliminate any lines that I can create with the with the shaver. I mean, my shavers work, man. <laughs> yeah, real thick hair. And all I'm doing right now is just cleaning up the uh, the bulk around the uh, the, fade, the section I'm gonna fade. And 
and here I'm not too worried about making, I guess the, the top of the layer under, that's gonna be faded like super perfect. I'm gonna go back and clean once I uh, touch the top. I'm just cleaning up just the longer part. I'll go back in there making sure everything is real neat at the, towards the end. It's a neat little trick you can do too, is like comb the hair out, the long hair, and just put some nice tension on it so you're not, you don't accidentally cut any of the long hair. Clipper, clipper close and make my first, my first guide here. Starting that fade process into the one. You notice a small line that was left by the trimmer there. I'm gonna go at the end and just clean that up with the trimmer itself. Halfway. Way open. You can see I'm using my corners of the clipper just to uh, get rid of dark spots, which means just detailing, detailing the fade. So back again with my trimmers and hit that last line. Do you edge up the uh, the lines on the side or you leave it natural? I Get usually leave it natural. Natural? Yep. When I'm doing a fade, I like to do one side at a time versus doing the whole head. Just focuses my attention on, on one particular area of the of the fade. I already know my process, my steps. Just the biggest thing is having, setting this, this guide first, just so you have symmetry on both sides. Once, that, once you have this line, you can work on either side. Do you mind uh, undoing the, the top bun? Yeah, of course. Some serious length in there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a pretty tight. Anytime I take it out, it's always a big surprise. And it's been longer before, so. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, I cut, I cut about eight inches off over the summer. And it's wow. and it's and it's grown grown back already, so I think it's time to get a little bit more. So this is the part I was talking about earlier about cleaning up the like the very top layer. So once the hair is uh, is undone, you can use a, a clipper or not a clipper, a comb, and just uh, go right up to the to where it parts. to make that distinction real, real nice here. So what, uh, how short do you wanna do the top? Yeah, so here's the dilemma, like I, was, I wanna be able to wear it down sometimes, but I still want it long enough where I can put it up. I'm not sure what that, what that exactly looks like, but probably somewhere closer to there. Cool. Whatever, whatever all that is. <laughs> Then we just do like a nice like rough cut and then go back in there and just uh, reshape it. Yeah. But yeah, taking most of the uh, the bulk out. Safely, I would say about like, maybe about that much. So you can still, um, so you can still tie the back so it's not super short. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sound good to you? Sound good to me.
Bye bye hair. <laughs> <laughs> And here I'm just using a pick instead of a comb just because you don't want to be pulling on his hair. It's something with less tension. Go ahead and uh, tie it up, Gabe, to see how you uh, how you feel about that. You need a like a comb or something, like a brush, per se. Yeah, right. Okay. Is that a good length right there, or do you want it a little bit shorter? Yeah, it feels about right. It feels pretty good. Let's see if it gets tied in there. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. So we're going to start the beard. Just going to do like a nice little fade from uh, the fade into the beard. And then just going to do some, uh, some light shaping around the sides. How long have you been growing up the, the beard for, Gabe? A couple months now. From like, like shaven to this? Say that again? From like baby skin to this? No, no, no. Like I usually keep it pretty trim. Yeah. I don't think I've been clean shaven in years. Probably like four or five years now I think I've been clean shaven. But I usually trim it down pretty short. But uh, from there, I've been growing out a couple months now. Right on. I'm trying to fill in all the patches. <laughs> So it's important to comb down the, the stash before cutting it, just so you get some of those curlies out of there, making sure everything is nice and neat when you do trim it. And I like to put my comb here just to, not necessarily force, but like to place the hair down at a more, at an even line to get a sharper line. Following that line to both sides.
You always want to bring them back, back to center to make sure the uh, both lines are even here. And clean up any little loose hairs that you might see in the line. A little bit of water here. And I'm not going to those two ends of the blade just so it fits a little bit better there on the, on the feather razor. It's good to like brush out what you just shaved to see what uh, where the line is. It's always, it's always a good idea to uh, finish off any beer trims with uh, the shears here just to get any loose hairs that the clippers won't get otherwise. How are you feeling, Gabe? Good. Fresh, clean. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of aftershave to seal the deal here. Place in about like three drops. Beer looking a little better, man. Much better. Yeah. All cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs>